Welcome back to another OpenMW development commentary. OpenMW is an open source re-implementation of the game engine for legendary role-playing game The Elder Scrolls III Morrowind. If you're not already familiar with the project, you can find out more by visiting OpenMW.org. With that out of the way, I'd like to first apologize for the lack of commentaries for the last several releases. In fact, it was only through the valiant efforts of one OpenMW developer called Scrawl that videos for releases 0.30 through 0.33 were even made. Since the last release commentary, OpenMW has released versions 0.34 and 0.35, so let's have a quick look at those. The launcher now has the option to rerun the wizard to select a Morrowind installation for OpenMW to use at any time, and allows the Morrowind.ini file to be re-imported. There is now an option to set the language of your Morrowind data files, which is necessary for correct handling of text encoding in OpenMW. The launcher now indicates when there is a problem with load order or dependency of data files. Hovering over any file produces a tooltip with more information about that file, including load order and dependency problems. As originally in Morrowind, hotkeys are now available to quickly cycle through weapons and spells. NPC AI packages have been upgraded a bit and now react to the accelerated passage of time, such as when the player waits or sleeps. One can now change the cell grid size that gets rendered in the OpenMW settings file to render more cells at once. As far as I'm aware, this is not currently optimized at all, so performance quickly degrades as more cells are rendered, but it's neat to experiment with. The beginnings of a vanilla save game importer have appeared. This feature is not yet complete and currently exists only as a command line utility. I'm not certain what limitations it might end up having in the future either, but I felt it would have been remiss not to have mentioned it. We implemented head tracking for NPCs, so they now make an effort to turn their heads and look at the people around them. The modding editor, which now seems to be called OpenMWCS, is of course making progress as well. Cell markers are now rendered in the scene window on exterior cells. These markers display the coordinates of the cell and will later be used to select any particular cell for certain editing operations. Double clicking a record within any table should now conveniently open it for editing. Similarly, double clicking a cell within the region map will open that cell for editing. The position of objects in a scene window can now be manipulated by dragging them around with the mouse. Sadly, this is the extent of my creative ability. I know only how to destroy. We can now bulk delete records from any result window. Just select the rows you want to delete and delete them via right click or the delete key. As always, there's a ton of stuff I didn't cover in this video. The full change logs for these releases can always be found on our blog if you'd like to read them. The project is at the point where almost all functionality necessary for a version 1 release has been added to the engine, and we're mainly fixing defects, polishing, and working on the editor. So that's it for now. Until next time, thanks for watching. Oh dear, what happened? You're half dead.